Okay, today I want to do a quick video. This is a uh, 60 inch Samsung. That's a UN60J6200AF, uh, 60 inch LED TV. And I know a couple of uh, videos ago, last week I did a video on a 65 inch about the uh, LEDs and we still have problems with, with the power supply. Um, this one, the 60 inches are the same way. Uh, they have so many shorted uh, LEDs. Uh, or LED strips where they have so many shorter individual LEDs that they actually would damage the power supply. So I've already replaced the LEDs. Um, no need for me to show that. i got plenty of videos on how to uh, take this apart and replace the LEDs. Okay, I'll even show you. Okay. These are all brand new strips. Okay, that's our plug for our LEDs going to the power supply board. And there are actually six strips in here. Uh, each of them, uh, when they're fully lit, they're about 40 volts. So that's 120 volts per line. Okay. And of course, black on black, red on the gray wire, just like in the other video. So my meter is open. Double check to make sure it's good. Okay. And I'll go here. So it's about 120, vo 120 volts, that's what it should be on the one side. And then I'll go on the other side. And it's also approximately 120 volts and I can see the backlight shining through here. So those are good. Okay, these are a brand new strip from Shop Timmy. But unfortunately, um, when I go to do a voltage check on the output. I want to place. Black on black, red on gray. Okay. And I'm going to fire it up. As you can see, absolutely nothing. Okay? I'll check the other line. Still, absolutely nothing. I'm going to fire it up. negative point one volts okay and as you see it's fluctuating around okay now what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna plug it okay this one this is the LED circuit okay uh, this is the MOSFET that powers that drives the uh, LED uh, B plus circuit through this diode that diode is the same diode as in the 65 inch. It is a SF28G. Okay, I'm just gonna measure this and just show you. Okay, this, this is the diode, it's uh, D9001C. Okay, they only use one diode on the 60 inch power supply board uh, because what it does, it loops. It goes to the positive, the, um, uh, I guess the cathode side or the, the stripe side, where the voltage comes out at, goes through, this gray, this, this black wire, I believe, or gray one, and it loops around and goes, comes back out here, okay? If I'm doing that correctly, well, it goes in here and comes back out here on the black side at the end. Okay, so it actually should be like 240 volts um, from here to here, going across this whole uh, plug here, and that's separated into two, 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 into two different lines. So, I'm gonna put my meter in a diode scale. Okay, and one four bias it, that's a 0.474 voltage drop across it. And the other way should be infinite. And that is 
1.3 when that should be infinite. And I did pull one end of it out and it's still getting the 1.3, okay? So, what I'm going to do is replace that diode. Okay, took the board off and I just gotta turn to the side and so we can get a better view at this. That's the uh, FET and right in front of there is a diode uh, D9001C. This one here. And as you can see, we'll get 1.3 volts. A voltage drop across uh, when you reverse the leads across there. So I'm just gonna take it out and switch it. Um, I don't know if I can see this on my camera now. Let me see if I can get the, the it's an SF28G uh, diode. Okay, so I got one. I'm going to replace it. I'll even show you guys, even out of the circuit. Okay, we'll forward all these across. Oh, I'm sorry, let's do it this way. 469 one way, and I go to my good dial, okay. something else up, okay? Clip all these off. Okay. We got 
131 votes on one line and the next line one third okay that's what it should be not 0.1 votes and I'll go across the whole line from end to end and it should be at 260 okay so we are in good shape okay now I also have another board which I have of another TV okay same problem 60 inch Samsung same board number BN44-00775A okay um, and same problem bad LEDs put in the strips board did not come up but this problem we have almost another problem okay on this board right here um, from the all of the shorted LED lights okay or little back lights that were on there we're drawing too much current overheating the board as you can see we have a big brown spot here now I did this dial here uh, was reading actually different I did pull one end out it was reading a little low okay so I'm just gonna use this meter right here okay put it in Dial scale. Okay. And as you can see. Okay. I'm going to put it on here. And that one is only reading 0.14 volts. Okay. I'm going across it. And I reverse the leads. Same thing. Okay, so that dial is definitely bad. Okay, so once again, same dial. And also, the FET that's right here, that goes right here, okay. This little metal, this little metal thing on, on, on the goes on top of it, okay. And that screws it in, I believe, some kind of way, right? It's a little metal shield right there, because this dial, I mean, I'm sorry, this FET does get hot. Okay, I checked that. Uh, it was really short on one side, okay. And I'll just show you. That is shorted. Sorry, you couldn't see that. Okay. And it goes to the other side, and that side seems to be okay. Okay, 626. But this side is definitely short. Okay. And I'll even check with this meter here. Yes, that's short. Okay. Okay. This FET is a FDPF 3N 50NZ. I can't really see that. Uh, but basically, it's a, the, the N is uh, N, N, N channel FET. Uh, the 3 is a 3 amps, and the 50 is should be about produce 500 volts. Okay, at max. And uh, what I'm going to do. Is I want to replace that one diode, and I'm also going to use replace the FET with this one here. Okay, now this is a PFQPF nine, and we're concerned about the numbers on the bottom nine and five hundred CF. Okay, in channel the five, the, I'm sorry, the fifty uh, five hundred um, five hundred volts rating, and nine this is for a nine amps. So actually, this should be better than the old one. Okay, so I'm going to replace that diode and replace this FET. And put this in the board also and see what happens if this works then i have an extra board uh you know that's good
day, guys. All aboard is good. 131 boats. I'm just going across the hole from end to end. Should be getting 260. 260. And we are good. Okay, guys. So, just in case you need to get this problem, just, oh, I'm sorry, get this television with the backlight problem. You can always check the voltage first, okay, before you change the backlights. That way you'll know to check the components and or just order the whole power supply board. It's up to you if not really te technically inclined, uh, but you will know that you will have another problem uh, when you replace the backlights and you replace the backlights, you'll wonder why it's still not coming on, okay? All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you on the next one. Big dog out.